Welcome to our channel, in this video, we will see, aphasia in children, causes, symptoms, treatments. If it's the first time you view our videos, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. For more information, please click the links in the description. What is aphasia and more precisely infant aphasia? What are the causes of this language disorder? What are the different degrees of aphasia? Is there a treatment? In this article, we answer all the questions you have about this disorder. Aphasia is caused by damage to parts of the brain that control language and which can make it difficult to learn how to read, write and express yourself. It is not a progressive disorder, consecutive, for example, to deafness or mental retardation. Aphasia is a disorder linked to, among other things, a head trauma, a tumor or an infectious disease. Aphasia, what are the causes? The baby's brain is still very fragile at birth, especially in premature babies, which makes it all the more vulnerable to lesions and therefore to a risk of aphasia. These lesions can have various origins. Cranioencephalic trauma TCE. A tumor, in children, the main tumors are generally located in the cerebellum. An infection, such as encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. A stroke. Acute cerebral anoxia, lack of oxygen in the brain. Hydrocephalus, excessive accumulation of fluid in the brain. Epilepsy. The different types of aphasia in children. There are four main categories of aphasia in children. Expressive aphasia, the child knows what he wants to say but finds it difficult to say or write it. Receptive aphasia, the child is able to listen to or read a story, for example, but he does not understand what he hears or what he reads. Amnesic aphasia, the child has difficulty finding the right words to describe things. Global aphasia, the child is unable to speak, to understand what is said to him, to read or to write. Aphasia in children can develop before birth, during embryonic life or after birth, depending on when the damage occurred. There are therefore two types of aphasia. Embryonic or neonatal aphasia which occurs during pregnancy or during childbirth and whose prognosis with regard to language acquisition are rather favorable. Childhood aphasia for which the brain injury occurs between 2 and 8 to 9 years old when language is acquired partially or completely. Is there any treatment? If the lesion is perinatal, focal and unilateral, the intervention of a speech therapist will not be necessary, it will still be necessary to closely monitor the child's language development and make sure that no other difficulty arises as they grow up. If aphasia has been acquired, occurring later, the child will develop certain skills without a problem but will have difficulties in others. It will then be necessary to call on a specialist who will adapt the treatment according to the time of the brain injury, the age of the child, his skills, etc. In general, if aphasia occurs before the first year, recovery progresses very favorably. In the case of focal and unilateral lesions, the earlier they occur in the child's life, the better the prognosis, in particular, due to the plasticity of the brain. On the other hand, if the lesions are diffuse and take place very early, they risk affecting the entire brain of the still very immature baby, recovery is then more difficult. There is no single model for language disorders related to aphasia since many variables are taken into account, the causes of aphasia, the age of the child, the difficulties in acquiring language, etc. If you think your child may be suffering from aphasia, do not hesitate to talk about it with your doctor who will be able to refer you, if necessary, to a specialist. Thank you for watching, you can watch more videos by clicking the links in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.